Welcome to Al Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live, and uh, friends, very troubling news here coming out here on the 25th of uh, February, 2018. Britain officially prepares now for war against Russia. This is being brought out on strategic culture, and very troubling. In fact, says on Wednesday, February the 21st. UK's Minister of Defence, Conservative Gavin Williamson, announced that the United Kingdom is changing its fundamental defence strategy from one that's targeted against non-state terrorists, Al Qaeda, etc., to one that's targeted against three countries: Russia, China, North Korea. He acknowledged that a massive increase in military spending will be needed for this, and that savings will have to be found in other areas of government spending, such as health services and military spending against terrorism. This, I mean, this is just absolutely insane. I understand where they talk about war with North Korea, although I, you know, it's funny. North Korea, very belligerent nation, no doubt about it, threatening all the time the United States uh, and any of their allies and in the territorial regions, uh, Japan, Guam, etc. Uh, but even North Korea is actually saying that they're willing to talk. They always say that the nuclear arms are not on the table for discussion, but they say they're willing to talk. I don't think we're ever going to get to that phase there. But China and Russia as well. I mean, China must really be devastating the the world global economic system for Britain to want to take down China as well. You know, it all goes back to the prophecy in Daniel eleven forty four. Tidings out of the east and out of the north trouble him. Trouble who? The king of the north. Well, if tidings out of the east and out of the north trouble the king of the north, well, there must be two norths then, right? There must be. Not necessarily a king of a north, but there must be another north, because the north and the east are troubling the king of the north. The king of the north, don't forget, is through Rome, and as I've been really looking more into a demonic antichrist that'll be raised up by the Vatican or in support of the Vatican, they've basically been holding that seat for the last two thousand years or eighteen hundred years, I should say. Uh, they've been holding the seat for this main man to come on the scene. Well, they use their military, which is a NATO force, and Britain being one of them. And now they're saying that they're preparing for war with China, Russia, and North Korea. North Korea is just kind of the fuse that lights the lights the match to begin with. <clears throat> so very troubling. Also, no notice though. They're talking about cutting. The, they're not going to be focused anymore on Al Qaeda, etc., non-state terrorist. That's interesting, because they never targeted Al Qaeda to begin with. The current government in Israel has been supporting Al Qaeda with medical, saying that they do it for humanitarian reasons. But Zippy Levni, uh, also of the Israeli government, said that they would never treat a Syrian soldier. Well, I thought you don't ask from what side they're on, and it's all humanitarian. What、well, tells you then it's not a humanitarian uh, uh, aid? When it's humanitarian, it's for human beings, both sides. Now, in light of this, let me share with you something else as well. Tim Anderson posted on here this particular、uh, page here, without naming them, the UNSC 30-day ceasefire for Syria authori、uh, authorizes. The destruction of the U.S. U.K. funded child carrying white helmets as armed propagandists and auxiliaries associated with Al Qaeda and Al Nusra. Well, Mr. Anderson, they are associated with Al Qaeda and Al Nusra. It is clear evidence, and maybe you are already aware of that. I don't know. He calls it the child carrying white helmets. You know, Vanessa Beely recently reported that the White Helmets come and kidnapped a child in the Arabic language as they put the child in this in this vehicle. The mother screaming, "Where are you taking my child?" Well, you don't get that part because nobody's translating you what the mother is screaming, where she's saying, "Where are you taking my child?" And the little child begging for his mother back. Thank you, White Helmets. But it does say that in there. 
affirms that the cessation of hostility shall be applied to military operations, you know, excuse me, shall not apply to the military operations against the Islamic State, Iraq, and the Levant, ISIL, also known as Daesh, Al-Qaeda, Al-Nusra Front, see, and all their other individual groups undertaking the entities associated with the Al-Qaeda, ISIL, and other terrorist groups as designated by the Security Council. Now, I don't know if the Syrian government has ever targeted the White Helmets to begin with, personally. I don't know if they have. I could be wrong. I know this major movement right now over Gota, uh, Eastern Gota, where the Russia and Syria has been carpet bombing the jihadists that are in there, and the whole world has been in an uproar over this until the ceasefire was finally given. Everyone was in an uproar, but no one was ever in an uproar about what initiated this heavy bombardment of Syrian and Russian forces. The different fighting factions in there, including Al-Qaeda, Al-Nusra, ISIS militants, have been shelling the citizens of Damascus on a daily basis for months. It wasn't until they hit a Russian compound that finally Russia stepped in and decided to help Syria deal with this problem once and for all. Because what are they doing it for? You have to understand, again, unfortunately, our country here, the U.S., is backing Al-Qaeda, Al-Nusra, and a lot of these jihadist groups. Free Syrian Army. We normally say the Free Syrian Army. We don't say that we're supporting Al-Qaeda, but we are. Let's face it, because the U.S. wants Syria to fall, and we blamed it all on the false allegations that the Syrian government used chemical weapons against their own people. No, what it is, is uh, these sponsored terrorists that the Saudis have sponsored, the Qatarians, the Turks have sponsored, have brought in mercenaries from all over the Middle East to fight in this war. So therefore, when they were using the chemical weapons to make it look like the Syrian government did it, it's not their own people but it was the Syrian population being targeted. But that was all put out for propaganda purposes. And of course, Russia just says now that the United States, you need to make up your mind what you're doing. And President Trump does come out and say, he came out and said very clearly that we're there for one purpose, to take out ISIS and get out and go home. Maybe President Trump really means that, and I appreciate that about President Trump, but I don't think the deep state cares what the president really says. And he actually went against the State Department, Secretary of State Tillerson, to make that comment. Very interesting. By the way, too, I just want to make one other quick uh, statement here. The video I released about the book Yom Suf, uh, Israel's final exodus. Uh, there was one lady that commented saying that... Uh, uh, that I was wrong and misleading, that that was not Israel's final exodus. I think, though, what happens, sometimes people look at a book's cover and judge a book by its cover rather than the contents in the book there. Uh, and I don't mean to, uh, it's not to single someone out on this. I'll probably take and erase the comment because I don't want anybody to beat up the, uh, the sister that, that makes the comment because she no doubt means well. If you read the book, though, you find out that the Exodus of the Bielskis crossing the Sea of Reeds is not the final exodus. That final exodus, as I write in the final chapter of the book, is the fact that Israel, and that's not just uh, the house of Judah, but all Israel, coming out of the denominational systems that they have been entrapped by, that is blinded them to who the Messiah really is. That's in Judaism as well. That is Israel's final exodus coming out, recognizing that Yeshua indeed is the true Messiah. It goes on to the Sea of Glass, as we read about in Revelation as well. Very interesting. So you just, I just want to throw that out there because some people might get perplexed by the title, thinking that the Bielski family from the Jeremiah chapter 16, also noted in Jeremiah 23, is that final exodus. That's not the case. If you've ordered the book, please understand, those that were ordering directly from us, uh, it is going to take a little time. We had to reorder our, our stocks here. Uh, hopefully they'll be in this week here. We are leaving for Europe. If you're going to order now, 
uh, please go and order directly from the website itself. Uh, it's the only thing that I ask you there. If you're overseas, we talked to the publisher. He said, order from Amazon.com in your country uh, because then you will not have uh, the high shipping charge. We did find out when someone ordered from Australia, it was $22 just to ship the book, uh, regardless of the cost of the book. So it's very, very expensive for us to ship overseas. That's why I had already noted if you're ordering overseas or outside of the continental United States, please write us before ordering because of the expensive cost of shipping. So we can see right now, if we were to ship it ourselves, it would be like $35. But at this point, we're leaving uh, very soon here. The end of the week coming up here, we'll be uh, headed back over into Europe, then over to Israel. So please, if we, I would ask you if you're going to order now the book, please order it online because I couldn't ship it to you personally until I return back uh, from the United States. I mean, back to the United States uh, back in uh, early summer, late spring. Anyway, God bless you. We love you. And those that did order, we should get the books in hopefully this week. And we will be getting all the ones that are ordered as of now shipped out immediately. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Shalom.